Chloe DeMere Save the Victory Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It is a, another video from your older than average YouTuber here on the YouTubes, and we are going to be playing with Flower Nose Cosmetics. This is my first foray with this brand. I couldn't resist the beautiful packaging and the little sale that they had, so I picked me up a palette. So if you want to see how I got this look. If you're interested into knowing how um, the products perform, what they look like, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. So are we ready to finally play with some flower nose cosmetics? This is a Asian beauty brand. I was looking at this collection and I did it in one of my new releases saying that that was something I was really interested in and somebody had mentioned that they would love to see something and then I saw this on a sale and I thought why not? I'm in the middle of a hiatus from my no buy because of Halloween and I threw this in here and this is from the Black Swan collection so it comes in this beautiful box and I picked up the black cover palette with the black and white swan. When you go to the website, I don't know if it's all the time or if it was for when they have sales, you can spin a wheel and you can get free shipping or a discount or a free item. And I got a, a free brush, which is always cool. I love makeup brushes. So it comes in this little pink box here. And just like the palette, um, I guess for safety it's good, but it's a little bit excessive, I guess, is the plastic here, but it is so adorable. So it's this little powder brush here, and then it's got the flower no, nose on written on there. It's a little short of a handle, but it is very, very pretty, and it would look really nice on your vanity. So I thought we could play with a blush with that today so yeah so I had so all I got from the collection was this was from a different collection but I got the free little brush and I picked this up here and then they also threw in which is cute these little ballet stickers so I thought what I could do is I put my base on put bronzer did brows but I do have a little bit other of Asian uh, makeup. I have a recent ZZ Cosmetic highlighter. I have, um, I took the little planet off, I'll put it back on after, um, a little ZZ um, liquid lip. And then I have from Palace Identity, which is part of ZZ Cosmetics, I have this beautiful, which half the time I can't get it open because it's me, um, this is a beautiful blush. So I thought we could use the blush to test this out and then just kind of keep it the majority um, Asian makeup. So we're gonna pop this back in here and then we're gonna take a look at the little palette. There it is here. I'm going to a little Halloween thing today and I'm wearing my little Halloween dress. So I thought in my earrings that were in my Beauty Moon mystery box and I thought because it is this, oh, I can show it because I didn't take the plastic off the mirror. Um, this beautiful color story here. So we have a dark silver, a whitish, I guess I could use that as a highlighter. Oh, well, we'll test it out. We've got a white, a gray, a black, and a red. So it's a cute, it's, it's a, they're teeny, but they're very cute. And they've got like imprints in here. So we've got the ballerina dress there. Um, we've got the, um, how does it, I believe it says um, black swan. No, it's got um, flower nose. And then it's got little ballet shoes in here. And then it's again, the ballet dress there. And then just a um, quilted pattern in the other two. But this is really, really beautiful. I mean, the quality looks good from what I've seen in um, like the preview videos, but it definitely has that, um, I think the, um, 
where am I going here? The the more lighter aesthetic that uh, Korean, um, Chinese, and Japanese makeup have. But look at that, and then they all look like little um, picture frames that you would have hanging on your wall if you lived in a palace or something. So it is really pretty. So I thought we could play with this today. I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to use a black primer or a neutral primer because there is a bit of white. But I think I am going to use the black one, but I'm only going to put it on the mobile lid. So if I want to buff out with a little white on the edges, which I may start with, um, I will have that there. I do have my base on, so hopefully we don't get any fallout. Um, that would be good because <laughs> I don't want to have to redo my base. But I'm really excited to try some flower nose. Um, it's a little bit on the pricey side, but the shipping actually what ended up not being too bad. Um, but it was just so beautiful and I wanted to try it out. I'm a big fan of ZZ Cosmetics when I want to do a more lighter look with eyeshadows. They're a good one to go with. I love their foundations so much. I love their, their, their bullet lipsticks. I like the um, Parasite or the Palace Identity as well. I've liked everything I've tried actually. Okay, so we just put that on there. And I just put it on very lightly so it's reading a little bit more gray. This generally goes on quite black. But I do have, a, I think I have a little bit of my foundation on there. So that also lightened it up a little bit. But that is okay. So now what I think I am going to do is I'm going to find a fluffy brush here. And that is hopefully clean. I need to clean these brushes, but I saw some that were clean in here and I thought that would work. Clean yet stained. <laughs> so we're gonna go into the white shade there and I'm just gonna blend along the top there, right there, just to see if it shows up. And oh, it does. Also, let's give a little tap. And then I'm just gonna blend out along the top here, just to brighten there and then just kind of blend out the edge where we have our eye primer. Like so, yeah, we've got, it's doing its job. It's blending and lightening out. Then we are gonna go into that black shade and then we're just going to go and do that on the outer edge. So we're just gonna go, whoops. They don't have any names on the back. It just seems to have the name of the, I'm gonna say the name of the palette. And there we go. We're gonna go into the black there. I think I'm gonna leave that sticker on for the mirror. I usually don't use the mirrors in the palettes unless I forget to grab a mirror. So now I won't blind people. Oh, that's going on, look at that, come on. That definitely has some payoff for a black. Just wanted to kind of do a super smoky look, so I am going to blend this out. Fluffy brush, but I thought I just want to place it and see it. That looks pretty black. I'm going to do that on the outer edge, and then I'm going to take a, another fluffyish brush. I'm just going to Fuse that out. There we go, that's doing good. Yeah, I am getting a little bit, but nothing that is too intense. Into the gray shade. Oop, making whack a noise, my apologies. So we're gonna go into that gray shade there. These really don't need names. <laughs> Basically gray, white, black, and red. Oh, and silver. And then we're gonna go just along the edge here, and then along the edge here. There you go, that is definitely a nice dark gray. There we go. And then I'm going to go into that red shade. That's the one there with the little ballet shoes. And we're gonna pop that up front. Ooh, that's very intense. Use on her hand a little bit there. It's a very like dried blood red. That does pretty good. 
might clean out the edge on top just on around the back just a little bit but I want to do the bottom first so now let's take a look at these two so we have got the white and then we've got to be some silver shimmer so we're gonna first go into this one okay this one definitely um, has some here you can maybe see it a little bit it's like clear like a topper but when I put it on my finger I got I don't know if you can see it here but it does have a little bit of pink um, and then the other one here ooh, is also top more toppery it's not as um, dark as it's looking here but still super nice yeah this one definitely I don't know if I can there we go here he's got a little bit of pink and white and that one's definitely a silvery there so I think we're going to stick a little bit we'll use the um, toppery one with the pink in the um, inner corners because the oh yes I wish you could see it down here it goes very pink but it'll go better with the red part and then we can do the silver just on the outside there so let's take a nice flat brush Make sure again it's clean yep and then we're gonna go into the silver shade I am going to give it a bit of a spray and then let's just see what that does and pop it on the outside there oh look at that this can definitely be your go-to smoky eye palette I think this one will be great for Halloween or just if you're a goth in your day-to-day -day, I think this one would do good and then we're going to take a little bit of the the white shimmer shade in there yes there we go we're gonna go into there and then we're gonna put that into our inner corner here yeah there. oh see there you can see that it's pink that it gives a pink so on our bottom lash line, we are going to go and do our black shade. Pattern is staying really good in there. Smoky looks for me. And then we're going to go and soften the bottom. Like so, and then, like I said, I wanted to go a little bit around the edge again. I'm going to go again back into the white shade. There you can see it goes a little pink when you put your brush in there. And then I'm going to again go along the edge. It's cute. So let's quickly... So that is that there. And again that little cover with the black and white swan. You've got a little bit of blue, a little pink. This is so lovely. It's gonna look beautiful on the vanity and I like that it's silver a lot of times um, cases especially if they're supposed to be more fancy or high-end they always do them in gold but I'm more of a silver platinum gal overall okay so let's put on a little blush so we can try our little brush here so we're just gonna lightly swoosh into here get a little color and go just do it very gently because this one can get um, quite pigmented and then we're going to do a little highlighter so this is from a new collection that um, should be coming out soon I believe it's a North American or an American exclusive I want to say but ice cream managed to get some of the eyeshadow and, or eyeshadow the highlighter and the liquid lip from the collection then I'm going to quickly buff before we put on lips there we go. now for lipstick again we're going to use the one from ZZ and it's just called X03 that shade there and there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a little mascara 
fix up my hair, put a few things away. Then we will come back and have some final thoughts. And here we are with our final look using the Flower Nose Ballet, the black palette from the Ballet Collection, and testing out this cute little brush that we got for free. I just popped on some eyeliner, popped on some mascara, and got ready, my rest of self ready for my day. This is my cute little cherry velvet dress. It's all spooky and uh, yeah, so that's it. What do you think? This is my first try of the Flower Nose brand. I think it's really cute. I like it. I, again, this is, I mean, it's limited to what you can do, but you can definitely get some good smoky looks with this. Definitely good for Halloween season, fall season. And this packaging is stunning. I think it's definitely uh, worth a spot on my vanity. I love it. And I definitely would use it again and again, maybe. This is good. I enjoyed it. So there we go. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe even hit that notification bell. If not, that's okay. We can still be friends. We can still test out new brands together. As always, behave, make good choices, and we will talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.